Hi, I'm Walt with West Palm Dog with Katie and Ben has Max over there. And what we're doing is we're working on the go to bed command, but in a specific uh, circumstance. We're having two dogs on their own beds, so we're working with that major distraction. It's what we call a tandem go to bed. So essentially what we're going to do is try and help our dogs be focused on us through this entire experience. Instead of being focused on what Max is doing, I want Katie focused on me and vice versa. Okay? So we're going to start it out with just getting them off our bed, throwing a piece of food or something like that. And then I say, Katie, go to bed. And remember, I want her to target the bed and then lay down. Stay. Stay. Now, what's really important with both of these dogs, they're both pretty high drive, which means they want to treat, they want to work. So this is really good because it teaches them a coping skill for just relax. Okay. Good stuff. Excellent. So we're also working on duration in this high stress environment. Very nice. So if Max got up, I'll pull the treat back, have him lie down again, wait about two or three seconds, and then he stay. I also want to stress that the stay, they can only grasp the stay by messing up. They have to make a mistake in order to understand what stay means. So every time Max messes up, it just means he's about to get a better understanding of what he's supposed to do. That's actually progress, every misstep. Good boy, stay. And I don't treat him if he breaks and I have to put him back down. Uh -huh. I might have waited a little too long though. So I'll wait two seconds and then I'll treat. Stay. So it's about knowing the dog. So for example, Max is getting a little bit more excited. So Stay. maybe I, he needs to bring the treats more often to help him just feel like he's doing the right thing. Because if we extend the treats too long, then we pass the threshold doesn't mean that it's going to be a threshold forever, we just have to work back up to that. There we go. And then we end the exercise by tapping them on the head, release. And now if she wants to stay there, she'll release. continue to get treated from me. If she wants to move, she's allowed to move without me correcting her. Good stuff. Now the last thing I would suggest is that whenever you're working and would stay with your dogs, be calm, we don't want to be excited. So you see how she's resting nicely. I start crazy here. Katie, you're doing such a good job. You see the tail starts wagging, she's gonna be more likely to break. So just be conscientious of how calm you can be. It's gonna really help her out. That's a good job. Good job, you guys.